Hello everyone, this is Tom Green, and this is my screencast for my ideal customer for Trail Wizards. Uh, so every year, thousands of people uh, embark on a long-distance journey hiking from Georgia to Maine. Uh, we help these hikers stay motivated and in touch along the way. With us behind you and an open trail, we guarantee that you'll be successful. We do this, uh, we try to offer a subscription service that allows hikers to pay to get a discount on supplies that they want to purchase throughout their hike. Our support is strategically designed to target the major hardships that often force hikers off trail and to give up on their dream. Over time, we hope to develop a community on the trail and supplement it with off-trail tactical supply drops and stock points. These spots will offer hikers much-needed supplies, hot meals, cold drinks, and a relaxing place to rest. So breaking down, uh, starting out, uh, we wanted to look at the trail as a whole. So going into our demographics here, there's a large age range on the trail. Uh, the ages range from 18 to 74. Uh, there's an average age of 34 and a median age of 29. 54% of hikers are men, 44% are women, and 1.6% identify as non-binary. In terms of race, 95% of the hikers are white. Keeping with demographics, uh, education level, 49% of hikers have a bachelor's degree, 3% have some kind of graduate or professional school, 18% have a graduate degree or a professional degree, 6% have an associate's degree, 3% have some kind of vocational school, 12% have some college, 8% have a high school diploma, and only 1% did not finish high school. So here is our ideal hiker. Um, we named him Matthew B. Packer. B. Packer being backpacker. I thought I was clever. Um, so it's a male, age 29. Uh, we're going to be using the median age because there's a lot of older hikers that throw off the average. And he has a bachelor's degree. Moving to psychographics, we wanted him to look uh, to look into why hikers hike. Uh, the top answers were uh, challenge, time to think, and escape from stress, or it's been a long time dream. Some of the wants that hikers have are hot meals, showers, and a soft bed to sleep in. And some of the needs we identified were things like food, water, trash cans, um, and phone chargers. We said. Trash cans, because everything that you carry in, you have to carry out. And phone chargers, uh, we put in needs because you have to stay in touch. Otherwise, it is a very lonely experience. Moving to why people quit their through hike. Uh, the top reasons given were unrealistic expectations. People go into these hikes and expect them to be uh, this transformational journey or some time to think. And they don't really consider that um, they have to be open to the experience. Uh, injuries are super common on the trail. I myself broke my foot. Uh, so there are a ton of things that can happen. Falls are very common. Uh, family problems. A lot of times people back home need you to come home. Uh, this can also be financial problems. And then uh, time constraints. A lot of people try to fit the hike in over a summer break. Um, or they spend too long on the trail and it gets too cold to continue. Moving into our geographics, 89% um, of the people that hike are American, and most of these hikers are from states along the East Coast. Uh, there are some hikers uh, from Texas, Colorado, California. Um, those Western states are very close to the Pacific Coast Trail, so it isn't uh, it is pretty common for people to hike that and then come over and hike the AT. Uh, so a lot of these through hikers repeat or try different experiences. So that is also something to keep an eye on. Behavior graphics, purchase behavior. So the average dollar amount spent throughout the course of the through hike, uh, hikers estimated between 2 and $3 per mile while they're on the trail. Uh, and this comes out to an average of 4400 to 6600 uh, and then hikers gearing up spend anywhere from $500 to $4,000. In terms of online activity, 
there are hundreds of blogs out there, uh, YouTube channels, and I'm actually involved in a Facebook group where we have over 100 members. So these are all ways that we keep in touch, uh, spread messages, and make sure everybody's safe and taken care of. So how many of my ideal customers are out there? So in 2018, 6,537 people attempted a through hike. And of those, uh, 1,128 completed the hike walking either all the way from Maine to Georgia or more commonly from Georgia all the way to Maine. Our ideal customer age and gender aren't as important um, as the reason that they're hiking um, and the reasons why they quit. So those are going to be the things that we focus in on. Age is important when we consider how we're going to market to them and uh, what resources they might have available back home. Uh, there have also been 3 million visitors annually to the trail. It's very common for there to be day uh, hikers or section hikers. So that's additional revenue that is a little hard to track. So what's the best way to reach them? Our younger customers, the best way is going to be through social media, Instagram, Facebook, um, and then our blogs and our website. Uh, endorsement and advertisements from prominent personalities. There are people with hundreds of thousands or millions of views that are uh, people who have a lot of experience hiking and give a lot of advice. Uh, and these are people that family back home and the hikers themselves listen to. Um, and then direct mail targeted at families and friends back home for these younger hikers. Uh, in the surveys I did in my focus group, I found that a lot of them uh, had people, grandparents and parents back home that would be willing to help them pay for the supplies they need. In terms of older customers, the uh, presentations at the beginning of the trail are going to be key. Um, we want to do a lot of postings and signs and a lot of magazine ads uh, to reach these people. I think Facebook ads are also going to be good, but uh, we kind of wanted to go traditional for our older consumers. So that is my ideal customer presentation, and thank you for watching.